Hello guys, now if you haven't already checked YouTube or been much on CSGO, then you might not have seen that the newest operation has finally been released. Now it's called Operation Hydra, and it is by far the most exciting and content filled operation to be released yet. Now as a quick summary for those of you who don't follow much CS or are a newer player, the Operation Pass costs about $6 and brings with it a cooperative campaign with a running storyline. It also brings access to the Operation Coin, which is a unique trophy that can be leveled up from bronze to diamond tier by completing the missions and experience. The pass also gives holders limited access to case drops and six operation collections, which means that instead of the bad 3p drop you usually get on a week by week basis, then you can possibly get drops that cost over a thousand dollars, being the dragon lore, but you know, the, you can get the really expensive ones that cost quite a lot, like 50 to 100 dollars. I very, very highly recommend buying the pass, as most of the time it's actually profitable if you grind enough for the drops, and it's not something that happens very often, so this may be your only chance to get the operation pass and play in one for the next six to 12 months. Now for those of you who do own the pass, you've probably tried out all the new modes in the campaign a bit. If you're focused on getting your coin ranked up fast and grinding for the event drop, for instance I'm using this account because I want to try and rank this up quickly so that I can focus more on my main account, then you want to know which missions or modes that give you the best experience. Now before I start I just want to make it clear that there are kind of two different types of mission experience bars, the Guardians campaign and the events reward bar both of which go towards upgrading your coin, but they actually provide different rewards, as I'll explain further on in the video. So, from grinding out the war games for the last 5 hours or so, and recording some of the experience that I gathered in an average game, I found that the best modes by far are the Hunters, Gathers, and Headshot only modes. These are because they're very similar to Deathmatch, while the other few modes, like the Zeus one, like the Scouts Unites, they're kind of more related to casual in terms of how they work. Now, on average, I can get about 400 to 600 mission experience per game when playing on the Hunter and Deathmatch modes, which lasts about 10 minutes, whereas in the other ones, I can get as low as between 200 and 300 XP. But then again, this depends on your performance in game, but this is just an average from what I found for myself, so it may be different for you, but I reckon this is going to be the trend purely because the deathmatch modes seem to have more experience per minute played because there isn't really a time where you're just dead and waiting for the round to end. If you go for some kills, you get some points. If you die, you respawn instantly. Whereas in the other modes, if you die, you kind of have to wait for the round to end first, which may take up some time, and who knows how long that could last. So this means it can take as little as four to six playing the deathmatch modes to get the event reward in total, whereas if you're playing on the other modes, it may take up to nine to ten games instead which is quite a substantial amount more, almost double. However, you can only get the event drop bonus every five days, which means that this is really more focused towards people who want to quickly grab their drop and move on to something else, maybe a competitive mode, or maybe just a different game and they just want to grab their event XP and rank up their coin while they're trying to do something else. So currently, the event reward itself is just the new case, which currently sits at about $3. So to get the skin rewards, you need to actually grind on the Guardians campaign. However, in the journal, it kind of does say that you can earn skins from the event as well. I just haven't seen many of this in my own perspective, but maybe this will happen later into the operation. Also, I want to mention that I'm not fully sure if the event might actually change into something else. Now back to the Guardian co-op campaign that I mentioned before, this is where you're going to go to get your skin rewards, and the fastest way to rank this up really is just to play it safe and do not underestimate the bots, because these can actually be surprisingly a large issue with some of these missions, because they're actually pretty damn good when they want to be. I found the main problem with playing against these bots is that 90% of the time they'll just die like nothing else, but sometimes they'll just run around a corner, pre-fire you, and instantly one-shot headshot you. You. But I want to say this shouldn't be as focused as a grind as the event can be because the event is kind of timed, you want to get it done as fast as you can. I mean, you've got five days to get it done, but the faster you get it done, then the quicker you can start getting new events. And if anything, you should just take your time and make your way through the campaign, because once it's finished, you'll be out of drops and you'll just be left with the event rewards only. So enjoy it while it lasts. I just wanted to get a video out there saying that yes, I acknowledge that the operation has dropped and I want to know your guys' thoughts and feelings on the operation so far. Personally, I think it's the best one yet that Counter-Strike has ever seen because these new missions and modes are so fun to play. Now, I'm probably going to be making quite a lot more of these operation videos throughout the time, just as the other CSGO YouTubers will, because there are probably loads of stuff to discover, loads of things, loads of new spots on maps, loads of cool smokes, loads of anything you can imagine. So expect loads of these videos to be coming out. And if there's anything you'd like to me to review, then please do say so in the comments below. I just want to say a huge thanks to the guys who support me on Patreon, who are Josh B, Ninja C4, and Frenzied Comet. And guys, I want to quickly mention that if you have not entered my giveaway at the moment, then please do so. It's free. It's completely free to enter and you could win some pretty awesome skins. The link is in the description, so make sure to get in on that. But until then guys, I'll catch you in the next video.